Okay, so this is a tattoo that I um, did on some fake tattoo skin, and I wanted to make a video to show people who are, you know, either just starting out or or maybe tattooing and want to learn like a few things that other artists are doing that they aren't making verbal or they aren't like explaining. So, this is basically like a three-part series. I'm going to go over how I stenciled it, how I lined it, and how I shaded it. <clears throat> so, right now you see, I'm just working on like the basic outline of the stencil. So, I'll outline everything that I would do with a liner first. And to forewarn you, I did this stencil really dark, but it still showed up light. So, I wish that I would have made it maybe a little bit more or less light or made the stencil a little darker, but you're still going to be able to see it. It's just not going to be as dark as it was when I was actually doing it. <clears throat> so right now, like I said, I'm just going over basic line work and I wanted this video to be short, but long enough for you to be able to look at the process and dissect it and ask questions or leave a comment or email me. And just ask me like, you know, what what was this for? What was that for? So you're basically watching me stencil, line, and shade. And you're going to be able to watch over my shoulder. like, <clears throat> And then ask, you know, like any question that you want to ask to further educate yourself or further get me further into detail about it. So here we go. So you want to capture the form. That's that's really, 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 really important. And when I say that, you want to, just like when you tattoo, when you line or you shade, you also want to stencil in the direction that you're going to be shading or working. So when I say capture the form, you have to think about, in this tattoo, is going to be like sort of realistic, not like photorealism, with some basic shading and some very very basic te techniques that some people don't even know if you pay close attention to the direction or the lines that I'm that they're they're aiming while I'm stenciling they're shaping the form of the hand like when I make this line right here it's it's the same way that I would if I was using a pencil it's going in the same direction I would shade from so I'm not giving information about how dark or light I'm doing it I'm basically stenciling to capture a form. And like down here at the bottom, same thing. I'm putting lines to emphasize that this shade goes this direction. Like for me, a stencil is just information and you you, you don't lose all of it. I use stencil stuff. You don't, you don't lose all of it, but you do lose a little bit. And in this fake skin, you lose it easily. So the next time I'm going to, I'm actually doing a, a DVD that I make I may make it like a downloadable link and the next time I do one I'm going to do an actual portrait on real skin and show you the whole process because I, I do some really good portraits and I just want to explain to people like how you like a couple of secrets I have about tattoo on portraits but that won't be free that'll be for sale so if you notice right here same thing I'm making these lines and you see that that that's those two circle shapes that was the knuckle and that bone that, that highlight hitting the, the hand. And here I'm making these wide lines because it's not a lot of information here. It's just shading. But the shading is in a certain direction. You can't like... Like if you were to shade something in the wrong way, it won't have form. So you create form with the shade. If you shade something that's horizontal, like it's really wide, like a rectangle, and you shade it diagonally, it'll lose the form to make it look three-dimensional if you shade across from it so it's important to stencil if you're stenciling something that's going to be semi-realistic or you want it to have good <clears throat> shading it's important to stencil it in the same directions that you're going to shade it and these are like my really dark areas and you'll see this like when i'm um when i'm if you watch the video that i made for this with just doing a line work 
you'll see me in this area using talking about depth and talking about distance and um you'll you'll get a better idea of what i mean by you know i'm creating that form we if you watch the video about me shading this particular tattoo i don't want to put them all together because it'd be one long ass video so i tried to make some short videos about everything so when you turn it around you start you look at you you see it looks different it doesn't it doesn't look exactly like what i was stenciling but you can still see that the directions are right in a in a three-dimensional world on a two-dimensional flat space it's correct so turn it over is a good way to see like to go over your mistakes if you miss something and it's also a good way to see like to see those angles or those directions that you're you're going to be you're going to be shading or lining Now, what's next is very important when you're cutting out the stencil out the paper. You have to consider that paper is flat. So, paper doesn't stick well on skin. Because the skin is round, you have to curve it on people's body. So, when you're cutting the stencil out of some paper, if you haven't learned this, this is like an advanced tip, but it's very basic. <laughs> Just cut out a little, after you cut the stencil all the way out, just cut out some sections around it just so you can give the paper some form. Because it's fake skin stuff. It's like hard to tattoo. And you see me putting stencil stuff on it. It's hard to tattoo. Um, it looks better from a distance when you tattoo it. But when you're placing the stuff on there, like the actual stencil, it's a lot harder to put it on fake skin than it is to put on skin. But whether you're doing that or not, if you can see, I, I cut like the edges of the paper a little bit. You see those like in the middle of it? There was a, um, a little slit and on the sides of it and stuff. That, that's what's helping it not move when I stick it down too. Okay, so let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to show you one more time just in case somebody missed it. Like if you can't tell what I mean by cut the edges of that paper, just pay attention to the bottom by the left thumb. Well, by the thumb, like to the bottom left a little bit. Oh, it's in the middle. You see it? If you didn't see it, rewind it just a little bit. That'll be the stencil for the tattoo I showed you in the beginning. And look out for my portrait. Tattoo Secrets coming soon. Please subscribe. You get an update first.